Hi everyone, welcome back to another process video for the Collaborative Collage Challenge. Thank you so much for all your positive feedback. It's really great to hear you love these videos and that it helps you to better understand the process of collage making. Every week when I editing the video, I see my process from the same perspective like you do. I think about the things I thought during the process of making and how to explain what I'm doing. To be honest, I don't think this much while working on collages and paintings. I try to avoid thinking too much as I want my art to be loose and free. So that's the reason why I can't create and speak at the same time. When I start, I turn my favorite music on and try to get right into the creative flow without thinking or planning. I listen to the music and feel the paper and look at all those shapes and colors. I just let myself drift and float and I take my inspiration from my respective mood. Don't understand me wrong, there's nothing wrong with nicely planned paintings. But when I try to plan ahead or think too much by working, the collage or painting then mostly looks a bit, a bit, a bit stiff. So instead of thinking, I respond to the piece. I respond to shapes and lines and colors that are already there. And I try to find out what I could add that feels good to me. I add a piece and when it feels good, it will stay. Otherwise, I will try another one. Sometimes the piece I like most doesn't fit in and has to go. Is it hard to let such a piece go? Absolutely. It's like painting over spots you like in a painting. It's hard, but otherwise you can't bring it together. So instead of thinking about composition or color, etc., I ask myself, what if? What if I add this piece or this one? Does it feel good? I constantly try things out to find a new way to join those collage pieces together. And when I feel stuck, it could be that I discard the whole collage and restart on a plank substrate. And that's okay. For me, the fun part is the challenge that comes with every collage I start, not only with those for this project. With every new collage I start, the same question comes up. How can I join these paper pieces together to create something interesting? Working with collage paper from others is a bit more challenging than working with my own. But I really like how different all the collages look. I'm still working on a page on my website for this project, so you can then see all together. What a great project. Thank you so much to all who participated. So now it's your turn. Is there something I can help you with? Maybe a question or a special topic? Please let me know in the comments below. I would like to pick up those and I will answering these questions in my upcoming videos. Or maybe you like to share some of your advice about collage making, because this could be pretty helpful for other artists. And in case you just need some collage inspiration, check out my free 5-day art challenge 
collage up your journal. It's a great way to loosen up if you've been feeling stuck or flat lately. So how does this free five day art challenge work? Each day during the challenge, you will receive a new video via email. The video will outline the daily creative task and provide tips, ideas and inspiration. Each video is short and easy to put into practice, even if you're a collage novice or you have only a small time spot to work on your creative projects. So check it out and start creating today. The link to my website is here on the screen and in the description box below. Grab some collage paper and start creating. And don't forget to have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay creative. Bye bye.